you got some evergreen thing. You got to go in. How are they on the tree? I mean, you got to get over. I mean, if you don't look at it, you're never going to you know, work. So, how are they on there? Is it a single needle or is it a clump or what are we finding? Single. single. How are they on there? Look at the twigs where the needles fell off. Look at some barren twigs. What do you see on the twig? You see stubble? That means it's a what? It's a spruce. Okay, we just saw how green the Norway was. This is white spruce, and it has a sort of whitish cast to the needle, as does the white fur, doesn't it? It's not white, but you see it's like a milky green. There's a white on top of the green. It's wax. It gives it this whitish color. And then take a look at the cones on the ground. What do you notice? Small. It's small, like the cones separated from Norway, right? They're like tiny. Small. Yeah. I mean, so the smallest Norway cone, like if we went back there and searched till we got the smallest Norway we could find, then we all searched and got the biggest white. The cones weren't equal. They still wouldn't even be close to overlap. So these are like two inches. Those are six to seven, five, maybe. But they're not at the low end. They don't overlap. This one is a north northern part of Canada, Maine, Michigan, not native again. Okay. Ornamental, but not nearly as common as Norway. Norway's used a whole lot more. In Canada, this is known as cactus fruit. Because when you crush the needle, it smells like cactus. Not like a beautiful city of London. You wouldn't make a floor cleaner out of this. You'd be sorely disappointed, like, oh, I think there's one to the house. <laughs> This doesn't, down here, they don't smell bad. They don't smell good either. But I, in Canada, I native one, they smell like that. I, smell like, I don't know if it's the environment down here or what.